Good evening, all. It's Sunday night. Uh, this may be one of the stupidest videos I've ever done. I was going to make one about the importance of uh, love in a relationship, but then I made a mistake and started watching all the crap on the internet. You know, you got to wonder, has everybody just lost their friggin' minds? I mean, uh, ever since Trump's been elected, the world seems to have gone absolutely fucking bananas. You got the Democrats that can't even agree with themselves on anything. On one sense, they're saying we need peace. On the other sense, they're turning around and promoting violence. You got these clowns from Patriot Prayer and other groups that say they want to have a peaceful rally, but they know damn well it's not going to be peaceful because on the other side you got a Tiva that's going to come in and try to tear everything up if they aren't instigated on by the other group. And everybody, naturally, every day in the news, you hear Trump tweeted this, Trump tweeted this, Trump tweeted this. Well, I wish to hell they'd take away his Twitter account, to be honest with you. Let him do what he's going to do. We don't need to know every, every time he takes a crap. All right. But I see his end game. I see what he's doing. And if people had a brain, they'd be watching it too. Mr. Trump puts out these tweets because he knows it's going to put his name out there on, on every newscast, even the ones that don't like him because they're going to find a way to spin it wrong, everything else, or even if it's right, it, they spin it the other way. His name is on every newspaper, in every news station, on TV, on radio, everything, every single day. So in that way, he's kind of smart. His name is out there every day right wrong or indifferent but damn it people we need to get this country back on track we need to get people talking to each other instead of trying to beat each other's heads in I don't care if you're Democrat Republican independent or you believe in the great gazoo you need to talk to each other you need to look each other in the face and talk. That's using words out of the mouth. Not the internet, not the Twitter account, not the Facebook. Any of that happy horse shit. Just old fashioned talking. You can solve more problems that way than you can by beating somebody over the head with a stick because there's always going to be somebody with a bigger fucking stick. Now, personally, I could care less about this so-called Russian collusion, anything else. I care more about the fact that the FBI and stuff seems to have forgotten what their, what their role in the whole thing is. Whether it be investigating some 33,000 missing emails, or the fact that she broadcast national secrets on a televised debate. You know, if you're going to make the rules apply to one, you got to make it apply to all. Quit trying to divert the, the subject by talking about gun control or, you know, all these other half-ass things that aren't never going to pass. Let's work on getting this country back on a straight and narrow track. You know, I remember 12, 13 years ago, hell, blacks, whites, Mexicans all got along good together. Now, because of the evil Trump, everybody's got to fight with each other. No, it's actually because of all this so-called political correctness. I read something. I can't believe it's true. That uh, New York City has now recognized 23 different genders for their school systems. Maybe I'm wrong. 
I am old. I can get confused easily. But I think there's only two genders. Male and female. Yeah, you can swing any way you want to, but you know, you generally make that decision when you're an adult. Heard something about how New York City has this thing called Drag Queen Story Time. To try to teach children there is no such thing as a gender. In kindergarten, in first grade. Is that what they really need to learn? You go into any store nowadays, people can't count. You know, without the aid of their phone or an adding machine. You hand them a handwritten note in cursive and they're lost. What? I can't read that. What language is that in? I just don't know. Maybe we need to take this whole country back to basics. Reading, writing, and arithmetic is what's taught in, English, in school. Not how to be a better poet or how to be a political activist. How about studying how to read and communicate and talk and understand the old literature? The things that made sense. Not see Spot run. See Dick become Jane. You know? I see the internet censoring people's political comments. But then on my public page on Google+, Plus, you see porn all the time. You can't make a comment, even though we have free speech in this country, but you can show your tits and ass all you want to. Free comment, free speech promotes conversation, promotes the thinking, using of the brain pan. You might actually have a coherent thought up there. Granted, I use the internet just like anybody else does. Do I believe everything that's on it? Not a chance in hell. I have a lot of friends I talk to on here. Just like everybody else does. I look at the news on here. I look at the alternate news. I look at the regular news. And I base my own opinions on what I see and what I hear and what I think. Key word there. Think. That's something a lot of people in this country have seemed to have forgotten how to do. I'm a vote Republican or I'm going to vote Democrat just because my whole family has done so. What are the issues? Oh, I don't know, but if it's Republican, I'm going to go for it. If it's Democrat, I'm going to go for it. Wake up and smell the fucking burnt coffee, people. All you're doing, basically, is flushing this country down the toilet. The Democratic Party, at the moment, seems to be going mostly socialist. Now, I'm not a great learned man. I got no sheepskin on the wall or anything else. But from what I've seen of socialism, it doesn't work. Yeah, it sounds really good. We're going to give you this free, that free, this free, that free, this free, that free. Who's going to pay for it? Okay, with those things coming free, do you realize that you will be watched all the time? Look at, uh, hell, look at what's going on in Europe. You got London's got the most extensive closed circuit TV camera system in the world. And their hands are tied at stopping any of this Muslim gang rape and all that. There's no go places in all the countries over there where the immigrants have come in, where cops are afraid to go into. You got people out here on the left coast talking about how we need to get rid of the Second Amendment. 
more gun control, more gun control, more gun control. Okay, let's look at that for a minute. You got Chicago. That's got some of the toughest gun control laws in the nation. And just over this weekend, they've got two dead, 34 wounded, in various numerous shootings over the, during the country with no suspects in sight. And this is a daily occurrence. You know, there are people say, oh, well, you know, this happened, that happened, it's caused by Trump did this, Trump did that. Well, don't matter. How often do you hear about Chicago on the news anymore? You don't. At least not out here on the left coast. It's like the news agencies have written the city off. I know a lot of good people in Chicago. Got some relatives up there. If we turn around and we start engaging our mouth to have constructive conversation, not where you get your say, but you don't have to listen to anything anybody else says that doesn't agree with you. I said constructive. Constructive means you always listen to both sides or everybody's opinion. I'm of the mind that the reason people don't want to listen to other people's opinion is they might actually change their mind. And oh my God, that'd be the end of the world. Out here on the left coast, you got people protesting to get minimum wage up to $15 an hour. It's fine and dandy. Go for it. But don't let me hear you cry when the dollar cheeseburger you used to buy six months ago now cost you $10. Because none of these business owners are going to take that loss in the ass without passing it on to somebody else. Just like gas prices. They have to pay more for the oil. Guess what? We take it in the ass to pay for the gas. All I'm saying, people, is give it some thought. Get your head out of your ass. Talk to your neighbors. Have a constructive conversation with somebody other than somebody in your own political party. Or somebody that doesn't think like you. Who knows? You may learn something. You may swing their way. They may swing yours. Life's a crapshoot. Let's all start looking at it that way and talking. Using words out of the mouth rather than fist in the hand. Because if you don't, there's going to be blood in the streets. And this is not Afghanistan. This is not Venezuela. This is not Cuba or any of those other third world countries. We're supposed to be civilized. Let's act like it. Let's follow the founding fathers and what they said they wanted to do. Make a country that was free and equal for all if they came in here the right way. Quit getting your nose bent out of shape over things that you have no control over. If you want to change things, change it in the ballot box but change it for the right reasons. Not just because Joe Blow down the street says, hey, you know, they're going to do this. Research your information. Make sure you're voting with your mind, not your heart. Let's see where the country goes from there. If we all did that, we'll all be in a better place. You got any comments? You can leave them below or send me an email, redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. I'll answer them as soon as I read them. Maybe what you wanted to hear, maybe you won't. We don't know until you ask. For now, it's Sunday night. I'm going to go back to my beer. I've vended what's on my mind. And we'll see where it goes. If you have a chance... Help out returning vets. Help out the homeless vets. Find an organization that's reputable. Donate to it. Whatever you can. They stood the wall and are standing the wall for us. 
we do, they deserve our respect. Whether you agree with where they're at or not, they did their job. You're allowed to sleep at night and not worry about waking up with a knife to your throat. For all the returning vets, the ones still serving, may you all come home hale and hearty. If not, may we stand tall and proud as Americans and help you back on your feet, as we should. The old redneck, as a vet, I salute you, and we're out. Have a good evening. Good night.